Peace and love, family. Answering a quick question. Uh, friend Ashley asked, how do we go from imagining the light to actually experiencing and seeing this, you know, the light, you know, bright white light, golden white light, right? You know, so uh, short answer, just keep doing Twin Hearts meditation, right? Keep doing Twin Hearts meditation. And at some point in time, you'll experience and you'll see, you know, bright white light you'll experience an you know explosion of light right uh at some point you know experience your you know your consciousness leaving and, and, and experiencing things outside of this body right <clears throat> so what happens is is you won't have to try to you know experience it'll just happen at some point by you continuously doing meditation continuously doing twin hearts you'll have to see the light right you'll have to leave the body at some point you'll have to you know secret ancient meditation for enlightenment right just so along the way first off you know the physical body gets healed and the supernatural abilities that have been laying dormant start to reawaken and open up so part of that is you being able to leave your body right traveling outside the vessel right <clears throat> taking your light body right all these things, you know, remote viewing, astral projection, da, 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 you know, seeing higher beings, angels, your spirit, God, higher soul, God, you know, great spiritual teachers, all these angelic beings and stuff. You'll start to see and experience those things, beings and all that stuff just by continuously doing it. At some point, it usually happens when you're not thinking about these things and asking those questions like, oh, what, you know, because, you know, in that mind state, we're kind of focused on the results. Like, hey, I'm not... Other people are experiencing, you know, I'm, where's that white light? Where's these beings? You know, that's how it happened for me, family. You know, I start experiencing these, you know, supernatural abilities, reawakening stuff when I wasn't focused on it, right? Back in college, I used to be ability chasing, right? Oh, I want to see auras. I want to see chakras. I want to see energy. I want to see these great beings. I want to see the, you know, universe, travel to galaxies, you know, my light body, uh, you know. Had some experiences, you know. But not really, because that's what my main focus was. When I turned into a pranic healer, and I was just like, hey, I'm just trying to get my job done. And then when I was doing a healing session once, right, I was working on the person, and I got my eyes closed. I'm working on them. It's anxiety and depression and bipolarism, you know. So it's the Ajna chakra. I'm healing him. And then all of a sudden, he's like, uh, hey, man. He got his eyes closed, too. He's like, hey, man. Remind me to tell you something. Remind me to tell you something at the end of the session. You know, keep going. I'm going to just tell you at the end. I'm like, all right. I got my eyes closed too. And right when he said that, I was seeing Vikings on a ship, you know, like they some pirates or Vikings. Bunch of big old, you know, big human beings, you know, Viking type, pirate type, you know, beings on a ship just going through the seas you know got visuals of that then at the end of the session i said hey uh what would you what you want to tell me he's like man you know i had i had a you know a vision i was seeing you know it was like i was you know like a viking like i was a big you know i had a big body you know and i was going around I'm like ah okay we literally saw the same thing so what i attribute that to i'm like oh we both saw <laughs> one of your past lives right and why is that important? Because I'm not a past life reader. I don't do, you know, past life readings and all that stuff or whatever. But how the chakras work is clairvoyance and all these higher abilities and, you know, seeing with your spiritual eye, your spiritual eye is your forehead chakra, right? It's not right here. That's the Ajna chakra, right? That's the command center, yeah. But to see your projections, right, th that you see with, it's right here, the forehead chakra, center of the forehead. That's what you see with, right? Clairvoyance, that's why they got their eyes turned up because they're looking at that forehead chakra. That's what they're seeing. That's where your visuals come in. So it's a chakra. If it's dirty and clogged up, that's like having mud on your windshield. Can you drive down the highway with a dirty windshield? You'll crash. When that windshield is all cleaned off, a.k.a. it keeps getting blasted and blasted and flooded and flooded with divine spiritual energy, a.k.a. massive amounts of light keep passing through it and cleaning it off. Clean all those critters, all those bugs, all those old thought forms and all those negative energies and all that dirty disease energy gets cleaned off. That windscreen is clean. You can see again. Oh, I go into meditation this time. My windshield is clean. 
boom, I'm imagining a bright white light. Whoa, I ain't even imagining. What's that? I'm seeing it now, right? So over time, you'll have to see it. You'll have to see that bright white light. Explosion of light, every inner experiences, it will have to happen just 